Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Art of Awesomeness podcast. My name is Christian Cato, your host. That guy's Adrian Gaswani. Hey. And yeah, hope you guys are doing great. Whatever. I don't really care. All right. <laughs> Let's. Yeah. I okay, guess we should but, address why no, we, I'm we, in we, such we, a bad. We have a lot to get into, but I think we got to get the first order. Of business all right. Out if of look, way. if I don't address it right now, I'm not gonna say it at all. Listen, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll get I'll get it out of the way real quick, so we won't have to even. All right. Fine. <laughs> Stress any time on it. <laughs> Actually, you know, I think you do. <laughs> Go ahead. This is today's the worst day of my life. I found out that after taking numerous quizzes, I yeah. am a Hufflepuff. The so. worst of the worst <laughs> you can get. I mean, yeah yeah so this so. episode might be a bit different today we're not going to right. encourage you to try new things i at least i'm not adrian can do whatever he wants sure uh but sure. life sucks ultimately and i would just say why why keep going we could just end it right now legit well with that uh we do have the first order of business yeah. which is national lucky penny day and uh national taffy day and Sophie says, let me know how it goes. So we will. We will, Sophie. We'll let you know how this episode goes. Hopefully it goes well. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know. Christian, you seem a bit... Yeah, I don't want to bother you guys with that. No, no, no. I, I think it's, a, I think it's important ever. for us to just kind of address these things so that they know, you know, going going forwards. You know what I'm it's saying? It's not... I, I don't... You're just not feeling anything right now? Like, what's, what's going on? Yeah, this sucks. I mean, and now... Look, like, all I've ever been was nice to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was like, "Hey, I, you're Gryffindor. That's cool." That's no, cool. no, no, no. I, yeah. think, I think it's. I think and it's now, to be honest, right? Because you, you it kinda, was out of good spirit when no, I was no, no, insulting no. you. <laughs> you said you hate me. Yeah, <laughs> Christian. I was kidding. Christian trashed me wholeheartedly for like a week <laughs> because I'm a Gryffindor and he's he thought he was a raven i am a ravenclaw except for the fact you took about five <laughs> quizzes four four you didn't let me take five and does my mic sound weird it does you all know right. what we're just gonna have to roll with it i think all right let's just do it i think now it sounds good oh yeah you think because <laughs> i'm a huffle buff huffle buff suck well just kill me now man look <laughs> i mean all right guys look here's the thing i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat it Hufflepuff is the worst of the worst of the worst classes. Or oh, I'd rather be in Slytherin than be a Hufflepuff. Well, I would yeah. dare I say, dare I say, oh. be in Gryffindor. Okay, okay, then take a it Hufflepuff. Easy. All right, take that's it easy. how much I'm willing to stoop down. Hufflepuff is it shouldn't even be legal. Hufflepuff shouldn't even be on the on the map, on the Hogwarts map. Right, the Hogwap. I'm just saying, and that's right. it. They, they, they're I don't because even the name Hufflepuff and Badgers, Badgers are our mascot. Why? Is it a badger? I don't know. Something with the it has hair on it and it has like claws or whatever. And it comes out of a hole. I uh, don't know. Well, yeah, a badger of some kind, right? Here's the thing, though. It's and I was so satisfied with my life spiritually and physically spiritually? and mentally when I found out I was Ravenclaw because I found out that I belong somewhere. Somewhere worth belonging to. Yeah. And that was actually better than Gryffindor. Because in order of superiority, it's, I would say, Ravenclaw. Ooh. And then, I don't even know about... I think just Ravenclaw is just superior than everyone else. Hufflepuff is down there. Gryffindors are... I don't know where Gryffindors are. And mm-hmm. Slytherin is just like, where are you... I mean, sure. Yeah, they're better than Raven... And better than Hufflepuff. Hmm. But I belong somewhere, and now I'm on the bottom. So, so. You, you do feel dethroned in a way, kind of like you had a nice spot where you were at, you were comfortable, you were empowered, yes. and then it just kind of crumbled. I don't know. I don't. I don't I'm get just, it. I'm, just, I'm trying to get, get it. Like, and look, I know we here. have a topic to talk about today. It's just, I don't. It's it's hard because now, now it's like we can't have bashful bashes anymore. Like two way. Remember how we used to always bash on each other? No, you were bashing on me. No, I think that's what no, was happening. we used to bash on each other, but now. But like I was, you know, no, just kind of standing there no. taking it. But no, 
Yeah. I don't think you got it wrong because you're a Gryffindor. So right, right, right. No, uh, but I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> oh God! See, it's it's nice because no. he, he was he was clowning me for like a week because he found out last week, mm. um, and you know he was just just hitting me with all the things like Ravenclaws are so superior. We actually had a bit of a debate before this on that very topic, but to find out now that he's a Hufflepuff, it's just I think it's a nice reality check. You know, because then now you can reevaluate yourself and figure, okay, this is where I'm at. Where do I go from here? Kind of a thing. Nowhere. You know? Hufflepuffs just need to burn. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't say that. You know what? Yeah. Well, I should. No, yeah. I well, shouldn't hey, say it online. We have the freedom of speech on here, though. Yeah, that's the thing. But look, I'm sorry. Look, Miss Kaswani, you're awesome. You are apparently Hufflepuff. I'm sorry. But there are very few select people that are Hufflepuffs that I really like. And right. you are one of them. So I highly regard you as a Hufflepuff that I actually like. But I'm talking about as like a herd well, Sophie, of Hufflepuffs. Sophie. Yeah, Sophie too. Yeah. But you guys, what? <laughs> Hufflepuffs. Show respect, bro. Miss Kaswani and Sophie, you guys are one of the few that fit the category of Hufflepuff because you, you changed the game of Hufflepuffs where it's like, wow, I actually don't not like all of them because these people are cool and they're awesome got it but as a herd they're all just wandering they're just wandering brainless seagulls just walking around looking for food pecking at each other right and it's i don't now i'm in that herd (laughs) and it and it's not fun (laughs) i'm like the eagles and nemo they're like my 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 yeah and Dang. Yeah. So Don't pay, man. I'm here for you, but like what the heck is that? Look at me a pity tap. That was that was it was pity, man. It was pity. <laughs> right. No, but it's honest pity though, because I really am sorry. <sighs> but you know Man. Yeah. It's the worst day ever. Yeah. For you, right? In general, for everybody in the world. In all history. Yeah, but like it's pretty good. Like on, on my side. No. You know, because it's kind of like. No, it should hurt you knowing that I'm suffering. Because at least before we were both rivals. No, no, but before you were kind of like the aggressor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but at least you had a reason yeah. to fight back. Now I'm just like some minuscule oh, like piece an easy of. target. Yeah. Now it's I, like I a that. different playing field. Now, before we both had. We both had some. Like, so we both were on a playing field where we could fight if we wanted to. Got now. It. I'm just, I'm not even on the bleachers. I'm the janitor cleaning it. I'm the janitor for the janitor on the bleacher people. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. I'm not even playing. I'm not even allowed to play. I'm like a little kid that's working for the janitor's kid. So if any of you guys are curious as to why Christian's a bit, you know, just a bit upset. Not even upset. I'm like depressed and upset. I'm sorry, guys. This is huge. I'm sorry. We've been talking about this for roughly eight or nine minutes, and we haven't gotten into it. But you know what? We are going on. A, let me be honest with you for yeah, a second. Yeah, be honest. You know what? Let lay me down, be honest lay down with the, you. Because this you know, is we, we are doing a great real. job so far. We're reaching out. We've had some guests on. You guys did great, by the way. We got some links. Everyone's you know kind of sharing for the most part, but not oh, really. But go. for here what it's go. worth, we're doing all right. So I don't think. Eight or nine minutes of me complaining about how bad life is is gonna change anything. How will it change anything? It won't. It won't. If any, <laughs> take it. So you know what? You can just sit there and listen for nine minutes or ten. You know what? I don't even talk the whole hour about half of us. You can. It's our podcast. <laughs> listen, listen, bro. I just I want you to know something, right? I want you to know something. I want you to know that you, you're not out of the game. I am out of the game. No, 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 no. Because I know you think you're out of the game, but you're not out of the game. Who's that supposed to be? Because what I'm saying is that, yeah, there are some Hufflepuffs, I can totally see where you're coming from, who are just kind of mindlessly going through the motions, right? They're just in the herd, like you said. Yes. But you, you're fully conscious and aware of the, of the fact that you're a Hufflepuff, right? Right. But you also know the mindset of being... A supposed Ravenclaw. So you have perspective. You you like you're you're in the crowd, but you're peeking above everyone's heads. You got like a little bit of a a one up. You know what I'm saying? So what am I supposed to do now? I'm still Hufflepuff. You know you're Hufflepuff, but now you become the leader of the pack. No, 
Yeah, because they're all <laughs> dumb. So you have to like help them. <laughs> Excluding right? Miss Kaswani and, and Sophie. Sophie. Yeah. But like other than that. I don't want to be a leader of a bunch of morons. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Listen, what I'm saying, dude, is that you you clearly what? have good le- you clearly have good leadership skills. You know how to deal with people. You uh, have patience. You have loyalty. I think that this now can what? work in your benefit. I think you how? just have to have that right right perspective. That Tucker Hudson. Tucker Hudson. I need you, Tuck. What am I supposed to do, man? I don't know what to do. Listen, it's a, it's a, it's a hard world out there, man. It's a hard world. But, uh, yeah. Right. Wow. All right, so why don't you just kick off what we're supposed to talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Because we actually, we actually have a... <laughs> We actually, we actually do have a topic for today. Other than Christian's Hufflepuff shenanigans, unfortunately, that's. I mean, if you want to pepper that in throughout the episode, I mean, you're yeah. Really oh, to. you're. I'm gonna season the whole. I'm gonna do more than season the whole thing. Oh, you're just gonna lather it. Yeah. Got it. Hey. Do you? Eight ninety nine percent Hufflepuff hate. <laughs> All right, go on. But pretty much what we did want to go into a little bit. Hopefully, we'll be able to stay on track is now that we've gone through our first full year of college, we just, both of us just finished finals. We're going to just kind of talk about what we've learned throughout the year and what we've gained from our first year of college. And also at the end, we're going to talk about some plans we hopefully have for summer and for this podcast and our channels, any ideas that we're kind of throwing around. So that's kind of the topic. So everyone knows what's up. But with that, I think, Christian, with your seasoning of the Hufflepuff madness, let's jump into what you learned from your first full year of college. Okay, I think the first thing I've learned... Like, a, apart from high school, you know? And here's the thing, Val, yeah. for all the Hufflepuffs out there. You suck. Okay. All of them. But, oh, speaking of Hufflepuffs. Yeah. On the lesson of things I've learned. Yeah. My How life changes... In an instant. Oh, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't even know, I feel like I'm worthy of talking to you anymore. No, You're no, no just, just like kind of, you know how the people, when they talk in front of large crowds, they picture people, you know, with funny or like with no clothes, you know, just kind of like helpful aids like that. Mm. Just like picture me as like, what's a house you really disrespect? Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Okay, so just picture me <laughs> as, picture me as a Hufflepuff. So now we're on an equal playing field, oh. like in a hypothetical sense. Look, right. okay. Talk to me, bro. Talk to me. I've learned that life changes in an instant. Yes. When you're going through college, right? you think things are, go- are going to be a certain way heading into it. You know, taking these classes will get you, taking these classes and getting a certain grade right. will get you to these classes. And I've only finished my first year, and so have you. But if there's one thing that I've learned is my mindset compared to how I first started going into it. It's not, I wouldn't say laid back, but it was definitely less restrictive or restrictive or constrictive. Restrictive? I think that's restrictive. We because yeah. I hate how (laughs) it's restrictive (laughs) because you start to realize of what's really important and what's actually expected of you and your expectations that you have from others compared to ones that you've made yourself. You've got some pretty good Italian form going right now. Huh? Italian form. Like that was, that was good. Thank you. I've, I've just learned to just go all out since a Hufflepuff. I hate Hufflepuffs. Really? (laughs) Yeah. You do. So listen, one thing I've learned, especially now, like since like, like what? 30 minutes ago? Yeah. 45 minutes. I've learned that, Life changes, and you're going to go through some stress. You're going to go through some hard classes. You're going to go through maybe some hard jobs. But. But? If there's one thing I've learned. Right, right. That really applies. Mm -hmm. I'm a Hufflepuff now, so I can't even think straight. Just kind of cloudy in there. <laughs> Look what it's doing. It's ruining our podcast and it's ruining our friendship. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Let me let me see if I can. Yeah, you, see. I can't do it. You I'm can, gonna help you yeah. out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, please. I okay, hate sure. Hey, I, I, I got you, bro. Thanks. Um, sorry, that was another pity tab, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry, dude. No, oh, wait, it's okay. Yeah. No, but okay. you shouldn't be sorry because I'm a right. So I, I, I'm indifferent. Yeah. So don't say sorry. Got it. All right. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I think that if there's one thing I've learned from my first full year of college. It's to not approach new chapters in life with such high expectations and to go into it kind of just expecting a very basic reality so that you're not disappointed or overwhelmed going into a new environment. Just kind of go in to these things, these new chapters in your life, whether it's going into the workforce, whether it's going into college, whether it's going into the military, any of these paths that people commonly go into outside of high school, I think it's important that whatever, whichever one of these paths that you choose, you make sure that you're going into it with the mindset of, of knowing that change and adapting to difficult circumstances and uncomfortable circumstances is a good thing and it builds character. And even if it's maybe not the easiest thing in the world, you're going to come out of the chapter or experience better and better equipped and wiser <clears throat> so that you can go into the next chapter beyond that. So don't, don't enter hmm. chapters thinking of it as an ultimatum. Like this is it, you know, this is just a step. So don't hmm. pour your whole life into it Pour it really enough wise. energy to, you know, take you through it. Mm hmm. So that you have enough kind of reserve to continue onwards, yeah. take things with you. Uh. Yeah, that's what I learned. But uh, I think that Christian will be happy to delve into mm -hmm. his or more Hufflepuff things. I hate Hufflepuffs. Yeah, he hates Hufflepuffs, by the way. Yeah, um, but after this intermission? He'll yeah, let you know. after this Hufflepuffs. Oh, yeah. I mean, after this intermission. Right, 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 yeah. After this intermission. Speaking of intermission, I hate Hufflepuffs. <laughs> Tell the people what it's like. How many tests did I take? You took four tests. Five is a lucky number. <laughs> what what house are you in, bro? What house are you Huffle. in? Huffle. <laughs> you can't even say their full name. Yeah, I know. Because <laughs> just saying their full name makes me want to go to puberty again. <laughs> Christian's a Hufflepuff, and it's the funniest thing. <laughs> hey, oh, that's it. I'm gonna be a kamikaze Hufflepuff. You kill every Hufflepuff in the world. Oh my gosh! I hate you, Hufflepuff. Yeah. I'm gonna kill every single Hufflepuff. Use my magic to kill all you guys for doing this to me. And then. Hey, hey chill out, bro. I'm gonna hey, kill, hey, kill hey. that old man, Dumbledore, for rigging the Whoa. system. And I'm gonna ruin that hat. The my sorting way. hat? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'll sort it, all right. I'll sort it. <laughs> you heard it here way. first. I hate him. And that. And the double boy, whatever his name is. And, ooh, after I'm done, I'm knocking Slytherin off the table. And no, actually, I'm saving them for last. And then I'm coming for you, Gryffindor. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Dang it. Because you ruined it. Hey, we'll be ready, bro. And then Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, I got plans for you. Oh, my God. For you, not objective. <laughs> And Slytherin is for a warm up. This for is a like cool a midlife crisis for, a for you. Cool to kill all you guys oh too. my god. That's dang. Wait, what's my what's my what's our mascot? A badger? <laughs> oh, you're getting a call, bro. We're back from the intermission, yeah. by the way. Oh, by the way, I hate him. <laughs> so, I think, Adrian, you had a lot of um, good points. Thank you. Thank you. So, that that was kind of my first lesson that I took out of my first year of college. I'm mm -hmm. sure we're going to learn many more as we continue through college. But, for my first year, that was the that was the main takeaway. So for you, what, what's what? If I could away? chime in, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I could chime in, though, 
now that I've had time to kind of recenter of what's left centering, <laughs> I've learned that heading in, into it, especially with this pandemic and a drastic change in my life that just happened a few, several minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. I've kind of learned something that's a little hard to explain, but I think if you understand, it might hit. It might hit. Yeah. I've learned growing up, just kind of a self learning. Growing up, I've always had an idea of how certain there certain things should be. I never liked change. Even still, now I'm resistant to it. Right. If I'm being honest. That's yeah. how I am. Yeah, sure. I've always had an idea of how things should be. I always had an idea of how I should be. The kind of music I like. The kind of you know, even when it comes to faith. When it comes to God, the the relationship with God I should have, what that should look like, or with my mom or my my dad or my stepdad or how I should dress. My, I always had a certain set idea, especially of things of how I should act around other people. Growing up, once you have those kind of subconscious baseline beliefs, that kind of I think honestly, I think if you do you know what I'm saying? I understand. You have, what you're after saying. growing up and after getting inputs from different people that kind of shape the way you are and going through certain personal experiences, you kind of have an idea of how you should be and how to act around certain situations where you have a you have a little pre preset approaching different things. Yeah. And how yeah. you should expect to have relationships and how you should expect to live life. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. I think the it does. Yeah. biggest thing I've learned, which is very relieving and scary at the same time, is to just let that idea go and let the idea and just trust that while we're still young too, while we're still young to just trust that just live instead of going through life already having an expectation of certain things to happen, which isn't always bad. Yeah. yeah. It's cool to just just see here and there. Maybe life isn't about going all 24-7, having an idea of I should do this, I should do that, or I should think about things like this, but maybe just going out on a limb and trying things and basically not, you know, not tricking yourself into believing, some, uh, believing about something before going to it. Getting rid of those beliefs. What am I saying? I feel like I was building onto something. Yeah, I think that... Kind you finished of, that thought for me. I gave you the baseline. Yeah, I think that what I... Well, at least what I gained from that, I don't want to say that this was your thought exactly, but... So correct me if I'm wrong. But what I got from that was that you kind of grow up with a lot of predetermined expectations of how you think things should be. Mm. And so oftentimes those predetermined conceptions of what you think things should be affect how you act and how you live. Correct. And so in order to fully live and to get the most out of your experiences, you should do away with a lot of preconceived ideas that you may have. Now, like you said, not all of that is bad. And I think mm -hmm. the, what's not bad about it, bad about it is um, if you have a good idea of who you are. I don't think it's bad to have a solid foundational understanding of who you are. Correct. But I think it is bad to have a uh, an understanding of the world that doesn't allow for some sort of adaptation of understanding, oh, okay, maybe maybe this is what I was expecting, but this isn't what I got. Mm -hmm. But don't be alarmed by that. Just mm -hmm. take it for what it is and say, oh, okay, I was wrong. Just rolling with it. And just kind of learning from it, adapting, and being better the next time. Yeah, because here's the thing, life is a lot more interesting. I'm still learning this when you, exactly what you said. Mm. Life is a lot more interesting when you just roll with it, not knowing what's coming next. Uh, and for what you said, having an idea for who you are as a person. Right. But for just going through life, it's a lot of fun just seeing how it happens and rolling with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. And, you know, I'm, I've always been curious if that changes with the age. I know that we're very young. So, right. relatively speaking to how we may look back at this in our 40s and 50s, yeah. you know, yeah, that's if, weird. We, if we make it that long. But, like, yeah, I'm going to kill myself sooner because I'm having a <laughs> Sorry, Mom, I'm not going to kill myself. Yeah, but he might. Um, yeah, so, I watch out, Man, I hate Hufflepuffs. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I think that, I, I think all the time of, you know, the... 
the mindset that I go into things with now, I wonder how farther down the line I would react to the same situation. Cause I know looking back on certain, uh, situations in high school with the knowledge I have now, how I probably would have reacted differently then, you know, mm. I just wonder how differently I would react, you know, 10 years from now or mm. 20 years from now. Here's the thing that I'm going to say something. Yeah. I can pro- most likely guarantee you, and I'm saying this as you're talking, right? Cause you're a Gryffindor, which respect right. is better than Hufflepuff. Hey, you which know. respect, I'm going to be honest, look for what it's worth. Gryffindor is your eyes are better than Hufflepuff. Right. Appreciate right. That. Thank you. Thank you. For what it's worth, yeah. I don't. I can probably say that there isn't any button else. There's not a lot of people our age that can probably say the same thing in regard in regards of talking like talking like this. Like yeah. I don't know many people like this that just like talk like that. Besides, probably like Lucas, which he's very he's very deep and profound. But wow. for the majority of like teenagers that probably went to high school with, I can't imagine them saying stuff like this. Well, like what we're saying right yeah, now. Yeah, about like how, like interest, uh, taking an introspective look, and really. Think. Oh yeah, I see. Well, that's something I think that's pretty cool as you're saying that, which yeah. I'm just pointing out. Yeah, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, growing up, as friends, I know that Christian and I were, at least especially in elementary, we were kind of the odd ones out. I think sometimes, mm. I think that often, like we, I know it was always a kind of a thing with Christian and I that we were the one we were the two kids who we knew and like never cussed <laughs> like all the people we hung, hung out with cussed all the time. And then it wasn't like, <laughs> it wasn't like we were just trying so hard to abstain from it. It just wasn't part of our vocabulary. Mm. Like it just wasn't part of our speech. Mm. And so it wasn't like I was trying not to, to cuss. It just didn't, mm. wasn't natural. And that's just kind of how we were, but that was kind of a, a distancing factor, you know, cause the Correct. way we would talk. And so I feel like sometimes some people would be, you know, why are you, why are you trying to talk so formal or, you know, mm. you know, but when, when you're not, you're just trying to be honest and genuine. And I think mm. a lot of the younger generations that were part of, you know, and the younger, younger generations, like, you know, our siblings and whatnot, mm. I think that the mentality and the mindset is there that nothing kind of around you at that age matters that much to talk about so deeply. Mm-hmm. You know, like life is so simple. Like when you, when you look back, life is simpler the farther you go back. So it's Correct. almost like less to talk about as far as deep introspective things. I think mm-hmm. you can talk in more depth the the farther down mm. the line you go. And that's actually something I think college taught me as well. Yeah. Is that, you know, the farther you go down the rabbit hole, the farther, the more perspective you have as you look back. Cause you're like, Whoa, mm. you know? That's... So it's through time that you get to the, yeah. kind of, and I think re- that that's, Oh yeah. If you want no, to sure. assess and reflect more. Yeah. And, and like, deeply. you know, people who always say, Oh, I'm a little bit older for my age. You know, I think mm. that just means their mindset. They've kind of gotten to that point where they're, they realize, Oh, wait, 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 that there, there's a bit more to life than, going to school, buying the hot lunch, hanging out with friends, going home, doing homework, going to football games and going to sleep. It's like, mm-hmm. there's actually a bit more that I could be thinking about and taking into consideration. And, you know, cause you and I, we've always been really deep thinkers. Mm-hmm. That's what, and that's oftentimes come to our detriment, you know, when mm-hmm. we're and going through hard times, but when things are good, I feel like the two of us, we use our creativity or, or our, int- our curiosity mm-hmm. of, in life and in topics and things to make stuff of it. Like this podcast is just us talking great. Like a conversation about what we think about things. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You know, I mean that, that's something that you and I would do anyways after school, we would have the conversations like this anyways. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah. And so this is just like putting a camera in front of a conversation we'd probably have regardless. Mm-hmm. And it's just kind of cool that we have that ability of retrospect being able to look back at this, you know, and say, Oh wow. You know, that's, that's how we were like, or that's the perspective that we had. That's, you know, and I feel like instead of just looking back at it and laughing, we can actually look at it and learn and, Mm -hmm. you know, get gain something. And that's what I like about not just this podcast, but podcast and YouTube and creative kind of outlets in general is that it just allows people 
like ourselves who otherwise wouldn't have a platform Mm because usually you'd have to be like on a network or something. Now we can just do it from a garage. Right. And, Mm -hmm. you know, it's just a, it's a nice feeling. I don't know exactly where I was going with that as far as the college and summer, but that's just kind of, I see, I see where you're going. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a, that's something I think about. Yeah. You know, as long as it ties in with your college experience. Yeah. Man. So how would you rate your first year? Rate my first year? Oh, you don't like things rated out of 10, do you? You like things rated out of 5, huh? Wow. You know me so well. Yeah. I hate I... Hufflepuff. <laughs> hey, would you rate Hufflepuff out of 10, though? Oh, uh, bro. Negative 2 billion. <laughs> Not even 2 billion. Negative, like, infinity. <laughs> negative. Dang. Okay. Yeah. But hey. So I how mean, would you rate it? Out of 5. Yeah. Out, all right. Out of 5. Um, well, I'm surprised you remember that. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Hufflepuff. Uh, let's see here. Out of five, I'd probably rate it a three. So what's that equivalent to a five out of 10? Out of 10, a three, that'd be a six. I can't do that. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> okay. So three out of five. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. Uh, so it was a bit better than just all right. Ish. I think the reason being is because um, it was online, and so I I, I didn't feel that because you know when when you go to school like in high school, getting up at seven or six, whatever, correct, and be drag know, dragging your way over there, it doesn't you you, you are you start off the day pissed off because you're like I don't want to be in this place, and you know in the pillars and the cold like what the mm-hmm. heck you know most of the stuff we're doing is on the computer anyways and so it was correct when we got to the whole online thing i was like okay you know this is weird right but it's not bad i'm not i'm not hating this or anything so and i realized that i had a lot more time i mean i was able to get a job because of it because you know if we were going to school full time then the hours that i work right now for work i wouldn't be able to work Mm-hmm. right so there's so advantages th- there's like an advantage where i can still do schooling but i can also have a, a job and mm. it's yeah it, it's a nice kind of feeling of having that freedom that ability to say oh i can do i can have a job i can do jujitsu i can record this podcast and i don't have to worry about what time i have to show up at school or when i come home you know mm-hmm. it's just kind of a no factor thing that i have That's to true. worry about and so that elevated it other than that, it was it was it was a drag. You know, uh, this year, yeah, I like th- that's what raises up to a three for me. If okay. I was, if it wasn't online and it was just normal school, I'd probably say it too, just because okay. it's it wasn't that wasn't that enjoyable. Right, I will say though that I think you not only I wouldn't say it's more this year the way it's been taught is better suited towards you. I wouldn't say that. I'd say that I've seen more. I've seen a lot of growth and I'm very proud of that growth that you've had since online, you know, cause you're right. Cause online, I feel like after a time we probably, you or I we weren't really feeling the whole end of the year thing when it kind of got online, but we were still seniors Yeah. and now with new schedules, fewer classes, right. Fewer and class. right. Then senior year, I took five classes. Oh my gosh. I mean, oh, me too. Take... Oh, I did take five. Okay. Yeah. Well, either cool. way, the schedule difference, you got a job, taking things outside of class. I think yeah. it gave you more wiggle room to kind of explore who you wanted to become a bit more. Yeah. And I think that's pretty cool. And yeah. I admire that. Yeah, I was, I was happy about that. And you, I mean, it, it must have been kind of a weird expectation switch for you because your expectation was that you were going to be in Nevada. Yep. So, I mean, that, you know, when that went online... Did you feel more kind of bummed out at the beginning, but then kind of thankful that you get to spend more time here with your mom and stuff like that? Or was it more of a still, nah, I still want to go there? Well, I think at the beginning, I was thinking two years general education will go by so fast. It didn't. Yeah, it, it did didn't. not. <laughs> it still isn't. It's still just one year. But here's doing... the thing. Then I yeah. caught up with some other things. I got a job, which I'm really 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 grateful for i got more chance to hang out with yeah, and I'm my proud parents of you for that, man that's yeah. awesome that you hey thanks man. yeah <laughs> i applied before you and you got it first i don't know how that happened well we remember i applied for the job you got too 
Yeah, I can't believe that. And I still haven't gotten a response. Yeah, that's crazy. But the thing is, I there's so many different things hanging out with my family, my friends, best friend. Hey. Up above. <laughs> I hate you. But I feel I'm grateful that because I feel like I didn't really get because uh, there are moments for sure where I feel like I was missing out because, you know, trying to wanting to go to dorms and especially my parents, they were they were big advocates for that college scene. And so mm. they're right. Like I, There's times where I feel like I was missing out and missing out on opportunities, especially when I'm, you know, going through the same routine every day, thinking how things how different things could be here and there. But then at the end of the day, I'm really there's not too much I'm missing out on when I'm just doing things like this. Yeah. And, you know, so I really I don't I don't really have any regrets. I think things That's happen good. the way it's supposed to. And I think the test of real character is how you can your reaction and what you decide to do, given a certain set of circumstances, whether that be expected or unexpected. In this case, COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Was- or. Being up above, which I can tell you, I'm not going to react well. I'm not going to build any character from this at all. Listen, listen. I, See, am I balancing this okay? Like, I, I feel like I'm doing all right. Maybe I should dim down the huffleness a bit. Maybe, really? I thought you were kind of. No, man. I'm just kidding. I hate Hufflepuff. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. I really hope that our our Sorry. main viewer message base isn't like Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah, I hate uh, Hufflepuff. <laughs> what? I really hope y'all are Gryffindor so we can all just kind of let this. You know what? Slide. Here's the thing. But, Here's the thing. Yeah. Look, for what it's, I don't even know how this all started, man. It's such a flash. I a second ago I was on top and now I'm on the bottom. I'm not even at the bottom. The bottom is higher than where I'm at right now. <laughs> And you're not going up. You're just staying there. No, dang, dude. Anyway, so anyway, uh, talk about um, yeah, something else. Summer. Yeah. Well, on that note of summer, Adrian. Just kind of on a rock and yeah, on that note of summer, I do hear. I hear that you're planning a trip somewhere. Yeah. So my family and I want to go on a bit of an excursion, but we don't know where. My parents kind of think in Oregon, but mm-hmm. um, so going to Oregon. But you're trying to go to Idaho. Yeah, it's a possibility. I don't, because, I don't know, there's been a lot of ideas thrown around, whether it be just somewhere in California or going out of state. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer to go out of state. That's just kind of my my pick. But, um, right. To Idaho if you could? Oh, for sure. If I right. could go to there. To go to school in Idaho, because then I think settling for residency, I imagine, and everything like that, since you have an exposure there more, might yeah. be a bit easier. Yeah, I, I want to just go check, check it out and... uh See if there are any Idahoans out there watching. I'm not. I'm not one of those. If there are any Idahos out there, <laughs> I'm not one of those Californians <laughs> uh, trying to change your place. Don't worry, I'm with you. But um, I do just want to say that you know a lot of it depends on my my little sister. You know, because hmm. if it's a car ride, nine hours. That's kind of a <laughs> for, for a toddler. That's kind of a rough. Uh, that's a, that's a rough ride, not just for her, but for all of us. It's going to be, you know, screaming right. and stuff. So right. my parents kind of want it to be a relaxing thing. I'm so. sure it won't be a straight nine hour ride of just crying. Yeah. You never know, dude. You never know. I don't that. think any baby. Like, they'll wear themselves out, fall asleep. And they're like, okay, good. And then you drive, drive over a bump and they wake up again. And this is like all, you know. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's it's it's, uh, oh it's rough. God. And then they got too much sleep on the car rides. And then when you get to the hotel or wherever you're staying, then they're up all night and they can't get any <laughs> sleep. Wait. And so, and so then you get a sleepless night. But then when you wake up, you're all tired. But they've been up, so now they're tired, and you're <laughs> tired, and you no one wants to do anything. So, yeah, I don't know. That that's kind of one of the things. But I think that one thing that we should do over summer uh, is. Honestly, SB. That's what I was thinking too. I think SB is something that we got to do with the boys. And uh, yeah, definitely we got to go down to uh, to Las Vegas. We got to go to Las Vegas. We got to check out your school. We got to see Sophie. We got to do that. Publicist. He's also uh, a Hufflepuff. <laughs> yeah. 
and but one of the cool ones right one of the cool ones. so when i bash on hufflepuffs i'm excluding sophie yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. just right. make, making sure that you guys are awesome yeah but right. uh yeah any one of those things because i'm really interested in going out of state and checking out just other parts of the country that i haven't seen because the only state that i've really been to is nevada that's mm-hmm. the only one that i've spent any time in i spent some time in las vegas i've spent some time in carson city mm-hmm. and and stuff like that but and then i i went to chicago but that was in, in the airport so i i don't count Ooh. that i don't count so that let me all. ask because i remember for a while you were talking now you're talking about idaho and now is San Diego still on the table or is that yeah, just an so, idea? So San Diego, I'm pretty sure the the place I'm going to be trying to go after the, the two years I'm doing here, San Diego is mm-hmm. probably my, the trajectory. Right. Uh, I don't know about going to school in Idaho because it can be expensive for an out of state student to go anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, even if the colleges are locally really cheap, um, mm-hmm. you know, if you're doing it out of state, you know, I don't really have the kind of finances to you know, all right. Do yeah. all that. So it, it would be cheaper to go in state. So mm-hmm. the the most likely scenario is that I would finish my schooling in California and preferably San Diego, and mm-hmm. then from there I would move out of state and you know figure life out mm-hmm. uh, from that point. Either way, I think you got you got some set said uh, ideas on which school you want to go to i think those are pretty cool yeah yeah I, areas to just go. you know checking out other parts of the country just kind of helps you gain some more perspective and it's just a nice because you know the i know a lot of americans don't have passports because hmm. the country is just so big you know it's almost like you can travel to another state and it's like traveling to another mini country because all the states really? are really different i mean if you go from you know, California to Texas to North Carolina to Wyoming to Michigan to mm-hmm. Washington and uh, Florida. I mean, you're going to different places, different topographies with different cultures. Diff- I mean, different accents and languages being spoken there. It's just, you know, the U.S., it's it's really diverse. when you, it's It really is a melting pot. Mm-hmm. And state to state, I mean... You can find a lot of diversity state to state. So so they don't have passports because... Because there's just so much to explore. Here. Right. I mean, there's so much natural That's beauty. True. There's so much history. And, you know, mm-hmm. obviously comparative to a place like Europe, there's not that much you know, architecture history. You can see mm-hmm. art history. You can see. Because a lot of it was lost with the Native Americans because they didn't really keep much uh, you know, records mm-hmm. as, as the Europeans did. But even still, I mean, it's just cool to see the natural, the natural aspect of it. You know, seeing the national parks and... Things of that nature, you know. That's true. You know, one day, I don't know, maybe, maybe summer or one day though, I would like to go on just like a just class A road oh, yeah. trip. Yeah, remember just, plan just that? us going. Yeah, for sure. If dude. that's a thing, if that's a that. Keep a lookout for that oh main channel. God, did I just wink. Did I you hate Hufflepuffs? Do Hufflepuffs wink? Is that like a <laughs> I guess they do because I just winked. <laughs> I just winked. <laughs> I wink. Wait, what does wank mean? Does that wank mean something? Yeah, it's 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 what you probably wouldn't want to say on a family friendly podcast. But wait, is that actually a word? Yeah, yeah, it is. Are you serious? Mm. Wank. Yeah. Wank. Yeah. I mean, we have a computer. We can look it up. I don't really know if you want to do that. <laughs> oh, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Oh, this is such a Hufflepuff thing to do. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, uh, that's uh, that's what you just said. On winked. Uh, I was referring to the past tense of wink. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I hate up a bluff. So, yeah, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's cool. So those are some summer plans. Yeah, some summer plans. Just trying to, cause you know everyone's been quarantined for a while, mm-hmm. and I think that there's a lot of a lot, a lot of. I don't like staying put very long. I like to be. You want to be active, roaming and exploring and mm-hmm. doing things like that. That's my nature. So. Being right. able to do that should be fun. That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Dude, I, I did that. I think that's, that's going to be... It's like putting a bird in its natural habitat. Yeah. This right guy, now, it can, be in, it, can be in a pet, it can be in a petting zoo for a majority of its life, but soon, when it gets in the habitat, in its natural habitat, right. that's when it flourishes. Yeah. Well, that was good. That was good. Mm-hmm. That was insightful. Really? Yeah. That was insightful. Wow. I respect that. Anyways, speaking so, of that sound, I hate it. <laughs> but 
as far as as a Hufflepuff, as a newly found Hufflepuff, <sighs> it's still coming back to me. I mean, has your summer changed because of this news? I mean, is well, it... okay. Here's the thing. Beforehand, we had plans to in the end of June. At the end of June, mm. so we might have to get together a bit early. At the end of June, we were supposed to supposed to go to Hawaii for a trip that my family planned like a long time ago. Shock. Yeah, a long time ago they planned this. It was like this is like the pinnacle of the events. Oh really? So like one of this, this is, is like this the is Olympics the trip. of our family trips, I think. <laughs> Other than that, I'm not going anywhere, so if you want to do anything. <laughs> Other than that, you're just yeah. this epic trip to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. uh, just two weeks. Just two weeks. Just two weeks. Just two weeks. Nothing, nothing fancy. Just um, two weeks. Just two weeks. Hey, I respect it. Yeah. You That's know what cool. I don't respect? Hufflepuff. Yeah. Amen. But, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but two weeks uh, at the end of June. So I'm going to go there. Maybe. That's nice. Because, yeah. It was yeah. a long time ago. So. What uh, what island do you guys go to? I think Oahu. Oahu? Yeah. Oahu. I think Oahu. Oahu. Is, is that where you... <laughs> Is that... Oh, no. I'm turning cringy again. <laughs> is a... Uh... Is that is that island the one that you guys most often go to, or have yeah. you guys island hopped? I don't remember island hopping. No. I know my family, like my mom and her cousins or my aunts, they've probably done it, but I personally don't remember doing island hopping. Which you know, I which is weird thinking because there's a few different other islands, and I wonder if one of them would be my more favorite than mm. Oahu. Because I know very little about hawaii and i've you know Mm -hmm. really never looked into it so Mm -hmm. you know obviously i know it's a very popular destination but Mm -hmm. it's just just never been like i know my dad's always really wanted to go there but apart from that it's just never been kind of on the radar yeah you know well you know there's that's like what you said there's plenty of other places that you don't have to fly to to you know really experience that kind of yeah the kind of um well the funny thing is i actually in my family i have a passport <laughs> yeah I, I could go yeah. like any but spain boy spain boy yeah that was fun that was fun so you know i don't really have any other plans besides that for summer that's cool that means that we got an itinerary to do awesome stuff yeah like so SB, let us know what you LV. guys <gasps> Ooh, you know what that would be cool if we plan for summer now if we plan to go like santa barbara or like las vegas yeah for sure like soon yeah soon 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 when when do you uh do you get like breaks from work or anything like i mean that? i, I like have, we're planning this like on the podcast, i know so. i mean i have the last monday of this month off but i mean oh yeah me too me oh yeah too. oh yeah i'm going to santa barbara though oh wow <laughs> so, <Snake. laughs> but uh, uh well i mean we can do it the next time i got when's my last day my last day is June fourth. June fourth, and then, oh, I remembered because I'm a good friend, even though I'm a hey, Hufflepuff. Nice, I hate Hufflepuff. <laughs> but uh, that's just what I'm going to title this episode: Christian hates Hufflepuff. <laughs> gonna, that's it. That's true. I hate Hufflepuff. Yeah, well, it's not a lie. It's true. I, I, I hate them. I think that I should make that the title. I think that'd be all right. Yeah, burn Hufflepuff. I just want to set you on fire, <laughs> like. Just set on fire, like, in a ditch. I want all the most flammable liquids on Earth and drench you guys in it. Not even... Because I feel Just bad like for the people. Or but not like, like, No, I feel bad for the people that are proud, besides Miss Kaswani and Sophie, of course, that are proud to be in Hufflepuff. Hmm. Not so much for the people that are... Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I don't like the people that are proud of being in Hufflepuff. Right. But... I don't. I feel bad for those that just don't really know how bad it is, right? Or even those that are Hufflepuffs but don't know it, because that's kind of a rough life too. I know that was that was. Mean. When when's the first time that you really took the time to look into what Harry Potter house you were into? Because I know neither one of us is like a diehard Harry right. Potter. It wasn't <gasps> Chase. It wasn't until Chase introduced me to which where we're talking about house, houses. Yeah. And I was like, I felt good. I felt good being Ravenclaw because I belonged to a bigger group, right, and I Ravenclaw like Ravenclaw. Too. Yeah, like I just it sounds cool. But now, you know, life changes. That's just part. Of, that's just part of the game. And sometimes, it's not worth pursuing if you have to change. <laughs> so, you know what to do. The old clickety click him, bangity bang, bangity bang. <laughs> 
You need to get like a rifle in here or something. <laughs> we'll demonstrate. <laughs> That's the thing though, Adrian. Yeah. I hate up above and I think if you have no other plans, I think that'd be cool to do something. This yeah, summer. for sure, for sure. So we can like hate Hufflepuffs all summer. Yeah. No, but it does see. No, no, no. Now it feels weird because now it's. It feels it feels weird, because it's like. Now it's like you're. A, I don't. I can't even look at us the same way now. Now you're. Now you're just like a higher being than I am. I, mean, I always thought uh, you were out of like our friendship. You're like the best one, but well, hold that's a big statement. That's a big statement. I know, but I'm willing to make it. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So I, I always I thought out of that. Counter that, but okay. Okay. Well, you're such a freaking Gryffindor. Oh. <laughs> but look, here's the thing. Now I just feel like playing cool. inferior. But I don't yeah. even like if you try to refute that, I'll feel bad. Shoot. So you, you, you got me in a corner now. I can't, yeah. Like... But not even a corner. Like, I'm inferior to you, and you should. I feel like you should be proud of that. Because I respect the code enough to not to not go back and say, Oh, Hufflepuff. Oh, my gosh, the max almost did. Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Oh, great. It's such a Hufflepuff thing to do to let this computer die at the end of the podcast. Here, here. I'll, I'll, I'll help it out while you, while you take care of that thing. So, look, Christian, um, I, think, I think he's been going through something for a while now. And, uh, you know, it's, oh! it's, always, <laughs> it's always hard when you think you're something and then you find out that you're something else and there's nothing you can really do about that. And it's just, it's a hard thing to find out that it's, it's kind of like finding out that you're adopted, you know, uh, you know, when I found out that I was adopted, not that I'm adopted, but, um, Wait. you know, it's like, whoa, I just found out some completely new aspect and now I have to bury the old. I, it's it's a tumultuous kind of situation that Christian finds himself in. So I think it's all important that everyone just kind of cuts him some slack and give him some support in the comments, because uh, you know it's a it's a hard life. You know, it's a hard life. That beeping is freaking annoying. But you know, I think it's important to always realize that no matter what circumstance you find yourself in in life, that there's always a room for improvement, and that even if you're at the bottom like Christian, uh, it's important that you continue to fight your way to the top so uh i don't know what christian's doing over there by the camera i think he got the computer situation fixed uh yeah he did good job bro yeah, it's yeah on the fly and so yeah so yeah i think it's i think it's important but yeah 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 i don't even know if you were listening to that but yeah something about um wait what'd you say so anyways um being a hufflepuff Wait, wait, what'd you say? I forgot. Well, I'll watch it later. Yeah. Well, it's, oh, man, it's, it's going to bother me because I'm a freaking Hufflepuff. <laughs> Did I just scratch my... Oh, such a Hufflepuff. Why? What happened? I just... I, I went like this. I scratched. You scratched yourself? Yeah. Is that But, that like, thing? right here. On your... Oh, behind your shoulder? Gosh, I'm s- okay. But I know that for a time you thought, and I thought that you were a Slytherin. I think that you took the test, and I think that you were a Slytherin at one point. Yeah, well, that's my my British phase. And I think oh, that boy yeah. was definitely a Slytherin. Yeah, your your British phase, Christian. Yeah, that was eighth grade, huh? Christian. Eighth grade. And then, well, I mean, yeah, that's crazy because I thought that you were a Slytherin this whole time because you never really re- retook the test. Then I was like, "Whoa, you're a Ravenclaw!" And I was like, "All right, buddy, flexing." And then all of a sudden, yeah. And at least we were we were competitors. We were like Mega Mine and Metro Man. That's a good compare. That's the best comparison you've made. I think that's a great comparison because here's the thing: Mega Mine was on. always making the bad. Mega Mine. Well, I mean, I'd be Mega Mine. Okay. Because yeah. I'm blue. Not only am I blue, I was I blue. But Mega Mine was making the bashes, and I think in the yeah. end, Metro Man kept his cool a bit more. Right. And Metro Man was like the hero. Hero, the acclaimed the, he hero. He really put me up on a pedal story. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm not even Mega Mind. I'm like that weird guy, Hal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no, Hal. No, 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 no. No, no you're no. right. I'm not even Hal. I'm lower than Hal. No, like, okay. Listen, <laughs> Hal, I think Hal is, is the lowest of the low. You know, it's funny. I just rewatched that movie. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Hal sucks. Yeah, but he's, he's better I, than Hufflepuff. I think that Metro Man, you know how his, his weakness was like copper. Yeah, weakness was copper. Right. I think that that was like the attack, and then but my attack was then to like fake die, 
So you thought that you had won. And then all of a sudden, life comes back to bite you by just now revealing that you're I'm hell. Yeah, I know. I think you're still Mega Mind, but I think you're hmm? Mega Mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no. I, no, 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 no. Wait, wait. You hear me out. I think you're still Mega Mind, but I think you're the Mega Mind at the part in the movie where he's like falling down, reaching for the gun. Like, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, but, <laughs> you know, I, I think that's. And I think what's going to happen is you're about to fall into that fountain thing. And like, you're, you're at the very bottom. Everyone thinks. Stuff's about to get crushed, and then you just you say "Olo," and no, then you because stuff him in the nose. Then wait, afterwards, wait, wait. he's still Mega Mind. No, but, but I'm yeah. not. Ready. You, you you stuff him in the nose, right? You take away his power, or whatever. You get the girl. Your friend's okay. Everything's no good because then he's still Mega Mind. But I'm still Hufflepuff. <laughs> I'm gonna fall in the fountain. It would be a wet Hufflepuff. All right, that's not how the movie ends. The movie ends. <laughs> It doesn't change because Megamind is Ravenclaw, and I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm gonna fall in the fountain and oh die, be a dead, wet Hufflepuff, <laughs> just how it's supposed to be. All right, acting like nothing even happened. I mean, look, so what I, I know that maybe this episode wasn't as long as uh, you know the ones that we, we do with guests and so forth. Correct, because yeah. yeah, because. Obviously. But, you know, I think that this was a good episode, and I'm glad that we were able to kind of maybe not come eye to eye with the whole Hufflepuff thing. We are eye to eye. Hufflepuff suck. Yeah, yeah, but like, I feel like you're you're being a bit, you're being a bit hard on yourself. No, but I'm not being hard enough, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. well, here's the thing. I actually, for what it's worth, yeah. even though this is the worst day of my life, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you, Adrian. Yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like being straight, I think this is one of my most favorite episodes. I think so. Honestly, honestly, I don't know why. Yeah, I, I have no idea why. But honestly, I'm I'm n- no joke. This is probably one of my. I dare I say so far, like top three. Because I, I agree. With I don't that. know. I I'm being honest. That. I don't know why. I just feel like we had a good episode. Yeah, like, I feel like this episode was uncensored, very much so. Kind of like we had a plan, but we kind of just went into it our own way. Correct. And I feel like it just flowed with our conversation the way it would normally go. I liked mm. it. I did like it. I hate Hufflepuff. Oh, me too. Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. But I like this episode. Me too. Yeah. So we can hate Hufflepuff and like this episode? Right. I like that idea. <sighs> oh, man. I'm worried for a second. Oh, no, no I, I saw it. I was just like, I need God, I, I hate Hufflepuff. Did, did, You're yeah. right. Oh, die. <laughs> but I mean... Ultimately, I mean, what's... Yeah! <laughs> oh, sorry. But, uh... <laughs> hey, you can... Whatever you want with that, man, but... I think that... What we learned from this episode... Apart from, you know... Right, let's uh, wrap it up. Right. What I think, we that, I think that what we learned from this episode, apart from... You know, going into life and new chapters... With maybe not the highest of expectations of going into expecting something a bit more based in reality Mm -hmm. going in it with the mindset of adapting and overcoming and overall just taking life for what it is making sure that you're solid in your own understanding as an individual and then letting you know the challenges of life just kind of wash over you and just kind of keep moving Mm -hmm. you know and then but like that's that that, that, that's nice and everything Mm -hmm. i think the most important thing is that we hate hufflepuff yeah. And I'm half above, so I guess I hate myself. Yeah. Shake and bake, dude. Yeah. Shake and bake. I don't even know if I get to shake and bake anyway. Really? You think you lost your shake and bacon? Nah, man, I'm just kidding. All right. Above all else, I, I think like shake and bake is. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm, I don't, don't yeah. want to be a wimp. Just wait. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, look, there's certain things in life that just can't just, that just transcend even, I just transcend even Griffin, even Ravenclaw. That transcend even Ravenclaw. That shake, shake and bake like, is shake one of those bake. things. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, shake and bake. So yeah, shake and bake. Uh, with that, we Feels do have good. the verse of the day, which is going to be Isaiah sixty-five seventeen. Oh well, I have more forgot I'm wearing headphones. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll I'll read that for you. This is Isaiah sixty-five, verse seventeen, and I think this is going to help Christian in some way. Maybe. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind, 
but be ye glad and rejoice for ever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem of rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. So uh, this is basically that everything passes. Even the earth hmm. someday shall pass. God will make it new. And, you know, sometimes what you see around you, you have to realize it's not always going to be here and things are going to change. Things are going to become new one day. And in that day, there will be no weeping and there will be no crying. And because it's a nice thing when you can reach another level. And mm. I think, Christian, obviously this is talking about prophecy, mm-hmm. right? This is Bible prophecy right here in Isaiah. But I think it does have an application in that for your case, the Hufflepuff case. You know, maybe maybe this new thing doesn't cause for any weeping or crying. Maybe this is what you needed to ascend and become legend. But I'm still Hufflepuff. Yeah, yeah, you're still Hufflepuff. But I'm saying, like, you could become legend. How are I? You still suck, but, like, you're legend. I hate Hufflepuff. You can all die. <laughs> Except for you, Miss Kiswani and Sophie. Yeah. Burn. I don't even know if my mom is a Hufflepuff. Burn, ba- What? Is she Hufflepuff? What do you mean? Oh, wait, no, she is. Yeah, okay. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> you are not God's favorite. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I'll tell you that much. Dang. Uh, I remember what it was like, and it was nice. At least I know where I'm going. Every day. And it ain't hell or Hey, anything. man. It's like purgatory. Hey, <laughs> That's Catholic. <laughs> what? Oh, Anyways. then it's like... I don't know. Bill. <laughs> well, Listen, I, I think that... I think we've learned a lot. Yeah, we've learned, we've learned from that... Wait, we already wrapped, you already wrapped it up. Very yeah, nice yeah I already wrapped it up. So here's I'm, the I'm thing. Trying to, I'm, I'm trying to help you end this on like a... a a solid no well there's no solid no with well i mean hey. well you guys uh thank you guys for watching as always I mean, yes you know our information will be down below always and yeah this is one of those episodes where we're <laughs> i hate up above <laughs> oh one more thing i do want to just point this out and then you can mm-hmm. close it okay uh i was checking the analytics right because yeah. I, I go on the analytics for right. our YouTube and for our... Uh, mm-hmm. We have a few for, listeners in yeah, some yeah. countries. And I did just want to say that our Lucas Martin video, crazy, mm-hmm. crazy with 108 views. So thank you guys for everyone who reached yeah. out and commented and did all that. Thank you guys for your support. We do have, again, I just want to point this out. We do have a second channel called the AOA Clips. That's where Correct. you can find excerpts from some of our podcasts. And we do have a new country on the list. Where? New country, you're gonna like this one. Philippines. Down under. Oh, what? Yeah, dude. Australia. Yeah, Victoria, Whoa. Australia. Whoa. Yeah, dude. We got Australian listeners. I checked on. <laughs> I checked on the Spotify. Uh, yeah, dude. So thank so, you. So wait. So d- does that track how? Okay. So like, what if so, like one person just listened to a smidge of our episode from Spotify? Will that right. count, or does it count like? listeners it would count if there was one person who listened but that fact alone because i doubt that they clicked on our podcast of all podcasts and were just like "Mm." you know i'm sure they Mm -hmm. must have seen it Mm -hmm. on like youtube or something because that that's just an oddball place man because it's a big country but it's like dang australia yeah so we're really reaching the ends of the earth yeah man so Austra- if, if you're Australian, if you're the, wow. the person from Australia who listened to our podcast, thanks for tuning yeah, in. Yeah, like, you, <laughs> you came at a great episode, too. Yeah. <laughs> I hate Hufflepuff, but you came at a great episode. What if they're Hufflepuff? <laughs> oh. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it but, doesn't matter. I hate you. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, no, I don't. But Wait, um, I yeah, uh, Australia, guys. So yeah, so, but it. in general, Australians, uh, thank you guys for listening. Yeah, absolutely. thank you guys. That means a lot that we're actually reaching new people. Mm-hmm. I think at this point we're reaching more people that aren't in this country, Dude, <laughs> which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what's funny is that <laughs> Texas remains like the number yeah. one view. Uh, let me go over some of the sad. analytics that I can remember, just so everyone kind of is caught up. Mm-hmm. Texas is our most uh, listened state like out of the united states texans are where it's at mm, below that's, that's california right. then it's like nevada arizona new jersey all that yeah. good stuff we still have listeners from uh the philippines mm-hmm. we still have listeners Indonesia. from uh what you call it we still have listeners from saudi arabia mm-hmm. which i think is crazy and then uh australia is what we got going on right now and then i was also looking at the uh what you call it, the male and female ratio? We apparently have more female viewers than male viewers. I don't know what that means. I'm not going to even try and attempt to say what that means. But He's that's... a Gryffindor, ladies. No, 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 no. But like what I'm saying is yes, yes, yes. it's like 50% female and then 41% male. So I don't know what the other 9% is that's missing or whatever. Maybe those are just the others. The others? Yeah, that just don't claim male or female. Well, like the furries or something? I, is that? Is that uh, you're so pure, I don't even want to ruin. But no, I know what that is, but I just, I didn't, I thought they would go by. Oh, I, I hope gender. that they just don't exist anymore, but you know. You know what? Furries are what? Are Hufflepuffs? Yes. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> and I'm Hufflepuff. No, no, no. Therefore, no, law of substitution. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's disgusting. But it's my destiny. Yeah, that's your destiny. <laughs> cool. One hundred subscribers. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that's uh, I, I wanted to share that news because I was I I wanted to, cool. I wanted to wait to tell you until we got on the podcast because I, I was looking at it and I was like, dang, and I thought this would be a good episode because you were kind of down. That's cool. Yeah, I hate yeah. Apple Puff, but that's pretty cool. Good. Yeah. That's pretty good news. So Australians. So yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching and yeah. listening. And just remember to uh, keep watching AOA. Reach out to us. You guys have our contact information. Everything will be down there below. Check out our website if you want to be on. We have a list of people that already want to get on, and we're getting to them yes. in order. Uh, we have we have a sequence. Don't worry. We, we'll get you on. We didn't forget about you guys. Yes. And don't forget to just keep being awesome, art of awesome, and hey, Hufflepuff. Cool. I am going to go die now. So that's probably my last episode.